data processing cycle. The data processing cycle lets us understand the route that the data takes from the time that we extract it to the time that it reaches the user. Now there are three processes that are involved in the data processing cycle. These are input. Data has to be extracted from source documents or from original sources of data in whatever form and prepared in a way that it will be accepted by the computer. In olden days, we had different types of input data media. We had tapes, magnetic tapes. We had compact disks. These are still available. We had what we used to call flexible disks. We had disk packs. We had also paper tapes that were perforated to represent characters. We also had cards, punch cards. These were 80 column punch, punch cards on which information was represented as punched holes. Characters were represented as punched holes. These input devices, most of them were coated with ferrous oxide, a magnetic substance that is able to capture information. Later on, there came direct access, direct entry means of inputting data into the computer by way of scanners, where data is scanned directly into the computer. Um, processing. Processing is where the data actually, the number crunching takes place, where things are summarized, calculations are made, raw data is used, for example, recorded hours that a person has worked and the rate of pay, these are calculated by multiplying the number of hours worked and the rate at which the person is paid in order to calculate the salary. Output. Output actually is the last stage of the data processing cycle where anything that has been processed, that has been calculated, is actually now brought out by way of printing it or by way of displaying it on the screen so that you can visually see it. You can also uh, send the output to some media for later printing and later viewing. If you don't want to print it right there, you may store it to, to some media, to a CD, to a flash disk, or to a hard disk for later extraction and printing and viewing.